the paintings resemble TV static. Guess the reception down here isn't too good. The paintings resemble t Guess the reception down here is A small desk lamp. I can see something inside. There was a pen hidden inside. It's an old-fashioned pen. Plenty of ink inside. It's fairly sharp. Might have some other uses apart from writing. What the? You're not supposed to be here. Who are you? You look just like me. I should ask you the same thing, imposter. Do you like what we did to mom? Don't you just want to kill her sometimes? I know I do. Mom? She's here? <laughs> you don't know anything, do you? Now, I'd love to stay and chat, doppelganger, but I have more important things to do. Ta-ta. No dial tone. The door is sealed by two thick chains attached with padlocks. Gears are moving behind the window. Am I inside some huge, bizarre machine? The elevator is open. That thing looks alive. More gears grinding away. Something about them makes me uneasy. I don't even want to think about what happened there. A jukebox. Broken by the looks of it. Nothing is lit up. Oh my god. Mom? You're here? It's Mom! She's being held up against the wall by something sticky. I have to get her loose, somehow. Was she always here? Is this the cause of her illness? Mom, can you hear me? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll find a way to get you out of here. There's some blood on this wall. It's too tough. I might need something sharp to get it open. There was a scalpel hidden inside the wall. Got it. A razor-sharp surgical scalpel. 
either a useful tool or a deadly weapon. There you go, Mom. Are you okay? <laughs> no! I don't even want to look. Refrigerator magnets in the shape of Scrabble tiles. The score values are off, though. I remember because the game I played with E the other day. Pokes in jar, an inkier heart, rule me nemesis. Not sure what to make of it all. Refrigerator mag, the score pokes, not sure. like a postcard is lying here on the floor. Some kind of monster. We're all monsters to you, aren't we? Kill her, Dad. No, it can't be. Who's your daddy now, bitch? Stay away from me! Combination makes no sense. Just for a it's a monster. There's no reasoning with it. It's trying to kill me. I've been angry with you for as long as I can remember. I've hated you more than words can say. I will never forgive you, Dad, but I'm done being angry. I'm done with letting you have an impact on my life. gears grinding away. Something about them makes me uneasy. Nothing in this place appears to be tuned. A small casket is placed in the middle of the cage.
Looks like the crank is connected to a mechanism for raising the cage. No use. The chain is broken. I'll need to fix it first. The door is sealed by two thick chains attached with padlocks. There are two padlocks here. One requires a key, the other is a combination lock. looks... I didn't hear an impact. Does it even have a bottom? Where did that thing go? The body is gone. There's a weird scarab thing in there. Got it. It's the red scarab I found in the refrigerator. When I shake it, I can hear something moving inside. It has a hard shell. I'll need something heavy to break it. I don't see how those things work together. Refrigerator magnets in the shape of the score values are off though. I remember because the game I played with E the other day. Pokes in jar, an inkier heart, rule me nemesis. Not sure what to make of it all. Nothing else in there. A jukebox, broken by the looks of it. I didn't hear an imp.
It's one of the chains which used to seal the door. This padlock might be useful. I don't think I need to use the chain itself for anything right now. Dirty iron padlock. This should be pretty hard to break. That should work. A small casket is placed in the middle of the cage. Doesn't open, but I can see a keyhole. That combination makes no sense. Indentations from spikes on the cage. It's the small key that I found inside the scarab. There's a keychain attached with a red heart followed by Ma. Guess somebody loves their mom. Do you see? I don't want to see. Do you see? Yes, kid, I see. Do you know who I am now? I don't like this. I want to go home. You'll never go home. We won't let you. When you threw me away, this place took me in, nurtured me. Do you regret what you did? I... I don't know. Even now you try to run from the truth. Answer me! No, I don't. I have done nothing wrong. You're just here to test me. To try and break me. heart must be pure. This is a fleeting moment, but I've seen what comes ahead. Who are you? The dweller in the lake. The conduit. Lily? I feel like I know her, but something cracks inside. I don't understand any of this. What do you want from me? Only what you want from yourself. Nothing more, nothing less. We are nearing the end. He is ready to see you now. Who is? You know who, Kathy. The kid dropped a small key here. A small brass key. Maybe this fits into one of the padlocks in the hall.
Okay, now what to do with the actual chain? The chain is attached to the elevator. I don't see why I should do that right now. Maybe if I had something to attach to the end. Maybe I should figure out what I want to attach to the other end before trying to extend the chain. I don't need to lock that. One of those chains is attached to the handle. Should remain in place as long as the chain isn't pulled to the right. All right, we should be good to go. You! You have ruined everything! Why do you hate us so much? What did we ever do to you? You again. I'm getting sick of your bullshit. And I'm not afraid anymore. I see you for what you are. You are nothing but a fearful little child and there's nowhere left for you to hide. Now get the hell out of my way. No! You look a bit pale. No, I'm the original. I am! This can't be happening. I'm speechless. That's a first. No. It can't be. Grandpa! It's so good to see you, Kathy. Is it really you? You've been here for all this time? It hasn't been that long from my point of view. You look exactly the same. You haven't aged at all. But how is this even possible? You're, you're dead. We buried you. You don't have to worry about that now, Kathy. I've missed you, Grandpa. I wanted to come back so many times. I know you did. I've been watching you every step of the way. I found out how you tried to get me back from Mom and everything. I just wanted you to be safe. I wanted what's best for you. Can I get you out of here somehow? I don't know how all this works. I'm afraid that's not possible. I chose to remain here. So we could meet one last time. But I just got you back. I can't bear to lose you again. You don't need me, Kathy. You never did. You're stronger than you'll ever know. I'm so proud of the woman that you've become. This... this is so unfair. This fucking sucks. I know, darling. I know. But why are you here then? Is it just another test? No, the tests are over, Kathy. I'm breaking all the rules just by being here. We have worked so hard to make this happen. You can end the cycle, stop the suffering. This whole place needs to be ripped away, separated. That red fiend has no intention of letting your friend go. The only way to save her is to destroy this place. What do I have to do? You have to finish what I started. Ascend and burn them all. Yes, the red ones above feed this place. Make them lick the flames. Hurry, now, before he sees us. Wait! Don't go! I need to go back up. I need to get out of here.
scenes are flashing by on the TV, depicting dogfighting in black and white. A shot of a corpse keeps flashing by. The gears follow me wherever I go. <gasps> it's the red man. He knows what I'm up to. The only way out of here. Ugh, my head. It's like the worst hangover ever. I need to stay focused. Burn them all, Kathy. Burn them all. Yeah, that could work if I wanted to become a full-blown pyromaniac. That combination makes no sense. That should be enough. Major forest fire raging in Conwell Woods. The cause of the blaze has yet to be determined. But the latest reports say that the fire has been successfully contained. Largely thanks to the local lake, which provided ample water for the dowsing efforts. Over to you, Mark. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. You're back. We were worried about you. Oh, thank God it actually worked. Are you okay, E? I think so, but I feel a bit different. Yeah? You were out for a long time. Do you remember anything? I think Isaac drugged me. I started feeling dizzy and weak. He carried me into the woods. I remember hearing the wind in the leaves and the biting cold. There was a weird, sharp smell in the air, too. I'm not sure what happened next. Things are a bit blurry, but I had a strange dream with a shimmering girl watching over me. It felt like she kept me safe somehow. Then I woke up on this couch. It must have been your guardian angel. I think so, too. Well, I'm glad you're okay, E. Things looked scary there for a bit. Yeah, Mary Elizabeth told me what happened, how you found me and got Isaac arrested. Yes, about that poor man. Uh, the sheriff called. Something happened while you were away. Welcome home, son. Guess he finally grew a conscience. I can't help but feel bad for him, despite what he did to me. In a way, he was a victim too. At least we stopped him from hurting any more people. So, I guess this really is goodbye. A stupid part of me thought that if I would find the truth, I could be close to him again. It's not stupid. We all look for love in the strangest of places. It's an inseparable part of human nature. Jeez, when did you become so philosophical, E? I told you, I feel different. Yeah, me too. Do you think any of it was real? I don't know, E, but I hope we managed to stop it, once and for all. You know, despite everything, I think we made a half-decent team. Really? You do? Well, except for the part where you got yourself kidnapped. 
try not to do that next time, okay? Wait, there'll be a next time?